Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and I want to thank you for supporting to reach 500 subscribers. Today we are here with another tutorial on Splunk. Do you want to monitor your website or web link? We are going to see in this tutorial how to use website monitoring app. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and share your comments. If you see on the apps, we can see only search and reporting app. Once you click on the manage apps, it will list you all apps which are visible and not visible. On the top right corner, you have options to browse apps, install apps from file and create apps. We are going to browse for the apps and search for website monitoring apps and install it. Follow along. You can click on install and login with Splunk account to install the app. You can also go to Splunk base and download the website monitoring app, and install using the option install from a file. Once the website monitoring app is installed, after the Splunk is rebooted, you will be able to see the website monitoring app on the app panel. If you go to your Splunk server, since I have Splunk on CentOS, go to slash opt slash Splunk slash etc slash apps, you will be able to see the app website monitoring. Once you go inside the folder you will be able to see the configuration folders for the app. We will come back to this location after configuring the app through Splunk portal. You have to do initial configuration which is to set proxy, if you don't have any proxy setting click on save without giving any details. You are able to see this dashboard of YouTube website monitoring because I have already created one to show you how it will look like. We will be going through how you can create the web monitoring or any website.
to create a new input, you can click on Create Input tab on the app page. Enter the website details and save it. You can also add the monitoring using the data inputs under Settings. If you are first time usage of website monitoring, it will ask you create the input on the dashboard page itself. Great, we have created monitoring for three websites and it's pretty simple. Let's go back to the Splunk servers and check out the config files inside the website monitoring app.
You can see all the dashboards and charts available under Monitoring app. We can see them under Dashboards and you can edit them and update as your need. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this tutorial and is informative for you. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video.